Well, I guess you're feeling pretty proud about yourself about now. Caught your big old skunk. Kind of like this one right back here. So, now what? <laughs> you just gonna walk up there and grab that cage? Take him on down the creek and let him go? I don't think so. Let me show you how to take care of this skunk without making a big mess, getting sprayed, taking good care of the animal. Stand by. Okay, we got our little fellow over there. He's pretty calm, but he's gonna get up as soon as I start heading that way. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tarp and, you know, one of those eight by 10 tarps is plenty big. Uh, blue side on one side, green side on the other, that's what you want. We're gonna use the green side because he's uh, probably liking the color green a lot more he's gonna like blue. But don't use clear plastic, he'll be able to see you coming there. And what you wanna do, you just wanna walk up, you can talk to him if you want, just be real calm, but the calmer you are, the better he'll be. Don't worry about if he sprays, if he sprays, it's gonna spray on this tarp, but just go slow and steady. So let's see how it goes. Raising that tail up a little bit. I think he'll be okay. I've done this a few times. Attaboy, it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Good boy. There we go. The closer you get, you want to raise this truck up. They put a big old rock in this trap, is it? Because it sure is heavy. We're going to let him sit there and rest for a little bit, and then we're going to get him back in the car. Nice and gentle. have the door facing out because once we get over there we're going to uncover to where we're going to release him we're going to uncover just this end down here where he can't spray us we're going to attach some rope to that door so we can stand off a little bit raise it up and let him out we're here at our official release site about two miles away i've released a bunch of animals down here he's not too happy uh, Younger ones are pretty calm, but this guy, not so much. Boy, he's been spraying the whole time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach some rope here. So when we get him pointed the right direction down here, we'll be able to stand back, stay under cover, and uh, still feel kind of protected. And, uh, let him down here in the woods. So let's see how that goes. Let's open up the door area here. Still trying to keep this covered as much as possible. get the door latched we're going to pull the rope back this way or the door unlatched I should say oh, come on now okay 
Okay, I've got it. I think where we can get the door open now. And we want to get back. See if we can just get him to go out into his new home. Just tie this back and we'll sit here and wait a bit. Come on, buddy. And just like that, we get it done. Well, that's how we do it out here at the goat ranch. Take care of these animals, try to release them back into the wild. I don't like shooting anything I don't have to. Yeah, it's a little trouble taking care of these skunks, but still, they deserve a place to live too. He's gonna be happy down there. We've released several down here, raccoons, possums, all kinds of stuff, snakes, everything else. But just remember, you don't want this thing to be, you know, in the back of your closed-in pickup with a nice tonneau cover or fiberglass cap if he starts spraying in there you'll never get it out of fiberglass and i saw one idiot actually put a trap skunk in the back of his station wagon and that's just utter stupidity you get that in the fabric uh, of a car it ain't never coming out this way uh this is an old tarp anyway but these are like five bucks it's just no big deal and uh, if i just let it hang outside it'll probably be fine later on but that's how you uh, get rid of those skunks. Just take your time, be careful, and uh, I think you'll have good success. So until next time, you guys be safe. Hope to see you down the road. Adios.